Hello, welcome to Chris Parking Shooting Sports and today we've got another little unboxing video. This is a Savage 110 Apex Hunter XP in 223 Remington. Um, comes as a package with this Vortex Crossfire Scope, it's 3 to 9 by 40 The rifle is in 223, it's also available in 204, 243, 65 Creedmoor, 308, uh, forgive me if I miss it, and 22, 250. Um, as you see it, I've put the bipod on it, I've put a sound moderator on it, come screw cut half inch. Um, it's pretty much straight out of the box. I've given it a clean, I'm not going to do anything else other than shoot it because it comes with the scope mounted. It's been put on absolutely straight, which is excellent because I see so many scopes badly mounted. What can I tell you about it straight off? Well, number one, it's a four round detachable magazine, plus one in the chamber. It's got Savage's usual two lug, two lug bolt with a floating bolt head. Da -da -da -da. Those can be replaced on most models. There's a pin that comes out if you want to change cartridges calibers. And it's quite unique in the fact it has a trigger and there's a little catch behind the magazine which acts as a bolt release. Um, short stroke, 90 degree bolt lift. The trigger, usual Accu trigger type, but I have to say I weigh this one, it's 915 grams and consistent. And it is delightfully crisp actually for an economical starter rifle. What else can I tell you? It's a 20 inch barrel, 508 millimeters. It's a one in nine twist rate. So it'll take bullets probably up to about 65, 68, 70 grains perhaps. We shall try those. Um, Edgar Brothers in the UK have sent me some Hornady ammunition for it. I've got 55 grain soft point and 68 grain boat tail hollow point. Uh, what else is to tell? That's a Harris bipod. Number one, I'm quite impressed by the fact the fore end's fairly stiff and it's a synthetic stock and okay if you're really brutal with it left and right you're gonna get contact but vertically and with the stock loaded from your shoulder you know and you're pushing into the shooting position that looks like it's gonna be really good it's got a nice sort of faceted shape on the polymer stock there's lots of checkering at the top here so it's very grippy uh, checkering on the grip as well it looks like it's a fairly parallel profile on the cone I suspect that works with Savage's adjustable system on there but I'll have to check on that one the recoil pad is you know, it's quite soft, but it's reasonably homogenous. So it's not too squishy and spongy. Sling swivels at the back. As I said, detachable four-arm mag there with steel feed lips. So it should be should be durable. 90 degree bolt and a crisp trigger. We've got the usual sort of Savage Tang safety here. And on safe, it locks the bolt as well. The safety catch has three positions. Center allows the bolt to be operated safely with no ability to fire. Rear locks the bolt as well. Forward for fire. What else can I tell you? There's an EGW Zero MOA Picatinny rail on it, which I do like because it makes life so simple. And the chances are, once I've zeroed this, test it on paper, it's only nine power scopes. So I don't expect I'm going to be shooting super groups with it. I might actually put a night vision scope on this because I think it's quite representative of the sort of gun people will aspire to for the sort of pest control and foxing needs. I've got a PAR 008 which I'm going to pop on this and that is going to make a nice combination. Other little features, there's quite a lot of ribbing on the grip here so it's, it is quite tactile. The stock's polymer, the trigger guard seems to be polymer, bottom of the mag's polymer but I say the sidewalls and feed loops are steel. Length of pull is 13.75 inches which is 330 millimeters. It's not super long, it's quite compact but its shoulders are all right. The scope has been well mounted, which does impress me. And as I say, it's a three to nine by 40, Vortex Crossfire. The clicks on it, because I'll need to zero it, the clicks on it, they are rather vague. So you'll need to check with your dealer for UK RRP, well, for the UK retail price. I know the RRP, but I won't be quoting it on YouTube because they don't like that kind of thing. So if you like this gun, if you want to see a full review of it, please like, subscribe, comment. Let's get some, uh, some traffic moving on YouTube and then um, let's go on from there thanks for watching bye for now